Hello there, hope everyone's having a great day. I'm 2333 and this is EST Quick Start QS1 System Test 2. So we'll start here at the panel. It's uh, basically normal except for the uh, stupid battery trouble, which um, the batteries are in the 3030 at the moment and uh, my spare set uh, is no longer functional. It won't even clear the trouble on any of my panels. So um, yeah, we got a battery fault but nothing else is wrong. And um, basically what I did today is I decided to do kind of a uh, Canadian kind of crazy shit, shit show or whatever. So I got, I think, uh, I got seven Edwards 270s. Yeah, seven. So we'll start right here. This is an EST Sega 270P. This one is, yes, it's addressable. It's got kind of a cool font on it. I can't remember if I did a video with it or not. But yeah, it's cool. It's uh, the two-stage switch has a key stuck in it, so it's not functional. And this one was made in 1999. Uh, so it's an old... <coughs> oh my god. So it's a rather early model. Then here we have an, a GE EST Sega 270. Just your basic uh, Sega 270 addressable. Then here we have a Vigilant GSA M270, which... I don't know if I did this one in the first system test, but um, these are compatible with the quick start. Now, right here, we have a Edwards Sick or Ah! Can't talk today. An Edwards 270 SPO. This one was made in 1993. Uh, it's tied to an EST Sega CT2 uh, dual input module. And uh, here we have an old Edwards 270 SPO. This one was made in, uh, I believe, 1968. And then here, anyways, this pole is also tied to the same Sega CT2. And for this pole station, we have an Edwards 270 GAO. This is a uh, two-stage variant of the normal 270 SPO. And the uh, key, the key switch inside is hooked up, and it's also on a Sega CT2. And on the right here, we have an old Edwards 270 SPOF French lettering uh, pole station. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for the initiating devices. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this is on an EST Sega CT1 module. So over here for the notification appliance, we have this. It's an Edwards Genesis LED G1 AVRF horn strobe. This is set on code 3 low volume and 30 candela. It is honestly extremely quiet. And by the way, I have no smoke detectors since I kind of had to set this up in a hurry. All right, anyways, without further ado, systems, like I said, on code three, and let's go ahead and pull it. Three, two, one. I'm going to be testing all these today. Go. That is honestly not very loud at all. Keep this lock. Crack that open. Silence. There we go. And uh, none of this is really uh, in use right now. I'm going to do a lot of work on this panel for one of the upcoming system tests. I'm going to show off a bunch of the features. These things are absolutely loaded with features. Like, you can do basically anything you want on these. Anyways, next up, let's do the other Sega 270. Alright, silence. And you may notice the piezo is really quiet. That's because I have uh, tape over it. I was working on it late last night. Yes, I live with my parents, but hey, you can't beat free rent. Alright, now for the Vigilant. Yes, this is true. I dislike Firelight. And now for the 
Damn it, I labeled it wrong. That was supposed to be the one next to it. Oh well, what are you gonna do? All right, here goes. All right, and now I'll do this one last. Now for the uh, French fucker. All right, now for the GAO, and I will be testing the uh, key as well. Now these are noticeably quieter than the Xenon variants that uh, were discontinued in favor of this model. All right, so now let's try to do the key. Uh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass one-handed. I hate this key ring. Get the fuck in there. What the fuck are you doing? Get in there! There, and turn? Up. Uh, oh my god! I'm... Oh my god. Really? You, you want to play games with me? Fine. Let's freaking dance. Let's do this. Alright. You want to work now? You want to work? Alright, you know what? I give up. Aha! Aha! I beat you. I took the key off the key ring. I'm so smart. All right, now let's uh, let's turn this. There we go. Everything is in alarm now. So now let's get to resetting. I'm gonna go from left to right now. Uh, this pole, I'll go over the kind of screw types. This has the kind of older security screw. That's not too bad. Like, take a look at that. I don't mind it too much, but this uh, came out of the TELUS Convention Center, the uh, place where I did the video of the EST-3 going off. This is one of the pole stations out of that building. Now, this has a fucking horrible screw. So what I'm going to do is I am going to try to set this up somewhere. Uh, yeah, I guess that works. Now I'm going to reset this. Ow! Alright, now let's do the Vigilant. It, it's got the exact same screw, so I'm not going to go over that one. There we go. Next up is the 93270. Now this one is really nice. It's got a regular flathead screw, and uh, it is almost impossible to strip out. So if you're getting a 270, get one of these. Now for the 1960s model. These three all are the same, but I'll just do this one as an example. Once again, it's a normal flathead, so it's... Really nice and convenient. Hard to do this one-handed. Alright, and for the uh, GAO now. This was given to me by Chase Reinhardt, a.k.a. Alberta Fire Alarms, so thank you for that. And unfortunately, Max, no, there is nothing known as industrial in this test. Although, I'm going to throw this thing out if it doesn't fucking work. There we go. Alright, that's all reset, so now we can do a system reset. Come on, reset. Honestly, these panels don't take too long to reset. And as a collector, they're honestly one of your best bets if you want an addressable panel. So, um, yeah, well, let's close her up now. If I can find my damn Cat 45... Okay, there we go. I need to get a different fucking key ring. This thing's horrible. What are you doing? Oh, I'm turning it the wrong way. I'm an absolute idiot. Alright, there we go, guys. That concludes System Test 2. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Goodbye, guys.